Welcome back to our channel. Today, we delve into the famous story of life and time of Clifford Oji. Join us as we explore the development and uncover the truth behind this controversial case. Clifford Umoji, born in 1965 or 1966 and died on the 17th of August 2012, was a Nigerian alleged cannibal. He was also inducted in serial killings, kidnappings, and sale of human body parts. Oji was arrested in 1999 and died in Nigerian only super maximum penitentiary, where he spent 12 years without being trialed. Oji was originally from Enugu State in southeastern Nigeria, but lived in Lagos State in the southwest. He was initially a razor blade merchant, but later proclaimed himself a shanman. A native doctor, Chinenyelo, he lived under a highway bridge in Oshudi Solo, reportedly pretending to be mentally ill. For those who knew Clifford Umwaji as a razor blade seller at the bustling Oshudi market, they did never had imagined he did turn out to be a deadly man-eater. When Lagos residents moved past the highway bridge near the Toyota bus stop Oshodi Solar Expressway, it was not unusual to dismiss Oji as a destitute striving for a living. Until the morning of February 3rd of 1999, when a faint cry for help from a self-created grotto under the highway bridge alerted passerby. Once inside the cave, the people were shocked to their marrows as they were met with rotten smell with freshly cooked human limbs, wrists, thighs, and a dying woman lying lifelessly by the metal port and firewood. The victim whose cry gave Oji away was identified as Awawu from Agege and she was immediately rushed to the hospital in Ikeja. Oji was incoherent in his statement when police arrived at the scene and was taken to the Makinde police station in Oshodi, where media personnel drew him for answers. Few days after his arrest, Oji was paraded before the media with roasted parts of human beings including skulls, leg, hand and abdomen. One served head of a lady identified as Eno, a trader from Aquaibum, was also on show. It was indeed a chilling sight. A disheveled Oji told interviewers he hailed from Enugu State and that he has been eating human flesh for years. The defiant Concord newspaper quotes him as saying, We have been eating human meat for the past seven years before coming to Lagos. It is our culture to eat human meat. We have killed over three people, especially young girls who hawk around here. We always lure them to our enclave under the pretext that we wanted to purchase their goods. Once they are in our net, we pounce on them and kill them for eatable meat. My colleague is the human hunter while I am the butcher. Oji's answer to the question on, on whether he did continue eating human flesh if he became a free man led many to believe that he was suffering from mental illness. Yes, to me, he said, there is no difference between human meat and goat meat, he said. Others simply believed that he was putting on a show to escape the wrath of the law, the unsolved mystery. Though police had reasons to believe Oji and his partner Tahiru were not just human eaters but also human spare parts sellers, as a huge sum of money, phone and checks were also found in the cave. The case led to a dead end. Oji was later arraigned in a court for alleged murder and was remanded in prison. He even filed a one million naira lawsuit through his representatives at Biodun Odosoti's chamber against Lagos State Attorney General Ade Ipai over his continued detention in prison for about 13 years without trial. The death of Clifford Oji. Clifford Oji remained in the Kirikiri Maximum Prison in Lagos for nearly 13 years until he was pronounced dead on the 17th of August of 2012 at the age of 46. He was said to have a demonstrated extreme sign of insanity before his death. No one came forward to receive his corpse, which was deposed at the Solo General Hospital Mortuary. The Lagos State Command of the Nigerian Police According to a publication by the Premium Times on the 19th of August of 2012, the Lagos State Command of Nigerian Prisons, after the death of Clifford Oji, said that the cause of death of Clifford Oji, an inmate, was being investigated by its medical team. The Public Relations Officer, Nigerian Prison, Lagos Command, Mr. Chuk Sunjoku, made this known in a telephone interview with News Agency of Nigeria. The cause of the death of Clifford Oji is yet to be ascertained as the doctor, as the doctors have not discovered any so far. Nan reported that Mr. Oji, an alleged ritualist and criminal, died in Kirikiri Maximum Prison, where he was an inmate for over 12 years. Mr. Njoku disclosed that Oji died in early hour Friday 
August 17th while asleep. An autopsy, he said, is ongoing by that time by their medical team to determine the cause of his death before they can invite his family. Mr. Njoku said that the body of late Clifford Oji was deposed in a mortuary in Lagos after his death. He was subsequently charged before the Butemeta Magistrate Court, as stated earlier, but died while awaiting trial. Mr. Njoku said that late Clifford Oji, while in prison, had some health history which was private, known only to his doctor. In more recent time, occasional crimes of robbery and rape have been recorded at a spot which was once at Clifford Oji's hideout. The flyover that connects Apakun to Oshudi from 87 bus stop on the airport road, Lagos, has become one of the criminal hotspots Lagos residents have been warned to be wary of, especially at night.